Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> um, there's a lot of green down there if I look down there. Um, it's the first time ever I've been in uh, Vegas for St. Patrick's Day and the plan is now to meet a friend in town and uh, have some food and then do some crazy people watching. <laughs> Should be awesome. <laughs> Let's do that! <laughs> Alright, I made it to the link. I'm not directly at the link yet, but here is the, the high roller. I still haven't been up there yet. Uh, not even sure if I want to do it, but someday I'm probably going to do it. Um, and this area that they built between uh, the former uh, Imperial Palace and Flamingo is now called Link. So the whole area is called Link. And the main hotel on the main hotel that was uh, Imperial Palace before is also called the Link. And it's a really cool area where it's like little shops and bars and I really like this place that they built because it has it doesn't feel like Vegas. It feels like like some small town square. And there's also O'Shea's, so the Irish pub. So there's going to be a lot of crazy people here. <laughs> Looking forward to watching them. Awesome St. Patrick's Day. I just paid some poker here at the Flamingo. Uh, I just lost <laughs> five dollars. But the really cool thing is, like, uh, I just met somebody. So hello, Paul. Um, somebody who actually follows my my vlogs and read my book. I mean, how cool is that? Um, <laughs> so it's pretty awesome because I never actually meet people that uh, watch my books. So whenever you see me, please don't hesitate to say hi. You know, it's really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you like and you know if you like the vlogs and all that please uh, like them and subscribe because it really helps and leave some comments because I always answer the comments whenever I can um, and I say goodbye from Las Vegas on St. Patrick's Day and I see you again tomorrow. Bye! This is Vegas at 6 in the morning. Uh, I woke up at uh, 1.30. Uh, the jet lag completely got me. Like I can't... <laughs> I tried to fall asleep again but like no chance. So I decided now, because the sun is just coming up, you see. Uh, I decided to see if there's some poker happening at the Golden Nugget. Uh, and then just see how the day goes basically. <laughs> I'm up now, so whatever. Yeah, and sorry about yesterday, by the way. I was just literally in my room, just working, watching a movie. But like the whole jet lag thing really sucks. Like I'm, I'm literally once around the world and here coming to Vegas. This is now where the jet lag kicks in. It's like, what? <laughs> Damn it. But at least this is a 24 hour city, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> made a small profit here of like $40 in like half an hour or maybe an hour and now the next task is to find some food um, the table got shorthanded I don't really like to play shorthanded so I'll try to get some food and then check back uh, try and make some more money
it's quite a cool uh, hotel casino, but yeah, I haven't been here in a long time. So the thing is now, um, I didn't, I'm not sure if you know, like there's a, there's an app called My Vegas, so you can play slot machines for just play money, so you don't have to spend anything, you can, but you don't have to. And if you collect points, you can get actual vouchers for the actual real Las Vegas. So I have one voucher uh, for $25 off a pedicure, and that's what I'm doing now, and I'll probably do some more later. Spa was awesome. Um, I didn't realize that basically when you have one appointment you can still stay like the whole uh, day basically. <laughs> I could have stayed till like 7 in the evening and use the spa facilities and they have like a pool and jacuzzi and there's like free coffee and tea and juice and some fruit and stuff. So it's like this is actually a nice little trick like take like the cheapest uh, treatment that you can think of and then just chill that whole day. <laughs> it was nice and I made two dollars profit in poker. <laughs> And now moving on to Excalibur. This is my favorite photographer. He's amazing. Peter Lick. Look him up on the internet. He's awesome. So I'm inside the famous Black Pyramid here in Vegas. So the Luxo once had uh, a poker room, it was actually one of my favorite poker rooms, but last year they closed it, so it's not existing anymore, but because of that I know still the, the way to walk around and then take the, uh, the walkway over to Excalibur. And there we go, I'm in the castle. to have a little bite and it turned into that. <laughs> I'm at the food court here now at Excalibur. Alright guys, it's very dark here, but we're uh, up inside Luxor, we just smuggled ourselves up to the 15th floor. And look at this, <laughs> there's actually just a balcony here, and there's nothing, you know, I could just jump right now, down there on the casino floor. It's absolutely mental, there's no protection here. It's crazy. Right, so we left the dark Luxor, we're outside now, and we went to the Aria, and I saw that there's actually a live uh, recording right now happening uh, at the Poker Go Studios. I've never seen the Poker Go Studios. I'm really excited. And I'm also excited because my friend Brittany, <laughs> who I shared a room with during the whole New Zealand trip, is here. <laughs> so we're having two days, we're going to go like explore Vegas a little bit. I've never seen a poker room, so I'm excited to see it. It's my first time. <laughs> awesome, right? <laughs> and yeah, she flew in from LA, so not, not the, fir uh, the furthest. Not the furthest, <laughs> no. Anyway, let's check She's out the way. So guys, this is typical for my life, right? We're standing in front of the Poker Go thing, and then Daniel Negrano just comes out. <laughs> so we said hi, I didn't film anything, but I got a picture. And then we watched a bit inside, but you can't really see the cards, the whole card, so we got invited to sit in the lounge here and watch it a little bit here, so I can, I can explain Brittany a little bit how the whole Learn poker thing is. the <laughs> So cool. <laughs>
forgot what day it is. <laughs> no, it's Wednesday. And you would think that after having been in, uh, in Thailand for a month that uh, I might be sick of Thai food. Nope, not Thai, not sick of Thai food. Uh, I just ate here at uh, Le Thai. Uh, it's down here. You see, that's Freeman Street here. Um, it's really good. I can really recommend coming down here. I think it was like on TripAdvisor, it's like number 17 of like 3,000 restaurants in downtown or something. So Le Thai, really good, really nice food. Very, very nice dish. Uh, I'm going to go with my friend Brittany now and I'm going to show her around downtown. She hasn't been here before. And I love showing people around my favorite places and definitely anything Vegas is my favorite place. So downtown tour it is. All right, so the, the thing that I want to check out now, which I haven't been to uh, myself before, is um, the container park here in uh, downtown Las Vegas. So one thing I've always seen in pictures and videos is the praying mantis. casino of course and I gave some uh, gambling uh, lessons <laughs> I hope I didn't make her addicted to slots now though <laughs> so for the first time in 40 years there's a new casino being built here uh, in, on Freeman Street it's going to be called the Circa it's going to be right here and you can actually look through the window and see how they're building it You can take a picture with one million dollars, and we did that. One million <laughs> one, dollars. One million. <laughs> you go. Can't keep it though. No. Can't keep it. Try. So the jet lag is still causing me problems. I was like last night, I was in bed at midnight and then I woke up at one and I woke up at two and I woke up at three and I woke up at four <laughs> and then I couldn't fall asleep anymore. And the night before I only had two hours, so I'm, I'm struggling. So I'm in my room now at six o'clock. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I bought a sandwich and stuff and I watch a movie. And um, believe it or not, it is raining and it's really miserable and cold outside. And it's Vegas, it's really weird. Um, <laughs> and then I have to pack. So I'm starting, I, I pre-pack basically. And then tomorrow morning, checking out of the D downtown. And I'm, <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to move to my favorite place in the world, the win. Um, and I can't, I can't wait, it's going to be awesome. But yeah, so checking out tomorrow, still going to probably spend around lunchtime here because I can't check into the win anyway and then make my way down there. So I'm quite excited. So yeah, but now movie and snacks and then packing. Night.